Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access to Trader.com uh, nightly update show. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had uh, a great weekend. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading day. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, uh, take a moment just to click a like, uh, share uh, the video. It really supports uh, the channel and that's all we can ask for. And in exchange, we'll try to give you unbiased uh, technical analysis for only the next day. Because again, we're not fortune tenors. We're just trying to uh, talk about data, get the data and try to uh, trade uh, off that data. So keynotes, uh, key points for the day. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closes over 38,000. This is the first time uh, in history. Uh, the S&P continues uh, its strong uh, momentum. The NASDAQ up another 50 points. But when you look at today's day from a point of reference, uh, the market got a little bit tired. And when you, what I mean by that is NASDAQ futures were up about 110, 115 points uh, pre-market. And when you saw what happened from the open, a lot of these stocks got really gassed up. So for example, if you look at Microsoft, uh, Microsoft had a big, big gap opening. Uh, it was up almost 402. Stock came in very aggressively. Uh, AMD uh, was up pre-market. Then they got downgraded by uh, Northland Securities, I believe. You know, down a you know, pretty good amount, down 4% on the day. Meta had a pretty big run, uh, gassed out. Uh, down in a day. Google, same thing, had a big, big move, gassed out in a day. You, you kind of get the picture, right? Amazon as well. The one stock that did not gas out, and we talked about this last night on the video with a potential 600 uh, rejection play was NVIDIA. So I woke up this morning, the futures are up. Uh, NVIDIA was trading around 597, 598. I'm like, oh, perfect. I'm like, all right, this is perfect. Uh, my intention was I wanted to see the stock kind of speed up into that 600 area, get rejected, get short, and then obviously use the high of the day uh, as my out. The problem was it was trading pre-market from like, literally from like seven o'clock in the morning to right at the open. It was trading 600, 602, got up to 603. So it never really gave me that 600 rejection play that I wanted. Ironically, the stock also gassed out. And you can see here, it gassed out and it went all the way from like 600 area, all the way down to like 590 and change. It was a really, really good move. And I know some of you guys took it, but it wasn't really the play that I was looking for. I wasn't looking for kind of like get tired, go down. I was looking for that speed up into that 600 area, get rejected and then get down. So again, for all you guys who did take uh, the 600 rejection went down as much as uh, almost 10 off the highs. But ironically, the, the most impressive part about every single other stock uh, kind of tapping out and getting a little gassed out, NVIDIA held up. NVIDIA really, really held up. Uh, this is obviously the highest close in this whole formation. And even when other stocks were coming in, uh, they were coming for the you know, 615, 620 weeklies. Very, very impressive. Um, the most important part about this is, you know, you know, earnings are coming up, I think, in a couple of weeks. Uh, speaking of earnings tomorrow, Netflix uh, kicks off earnings season, uh, at least for the beta names. And Wednesday starts off Tesla, right? And Tesla was kind of the second half of the equation. Again, if you guys watched the previous video, uh, you kind of know my, my whole thought process behind what I thought was going to happen today was there was a big reload uh, buyer uh, all week on the bottom of the range. Uh, there was no put buying coming up. So I was like, well, listen, if the stock kind of washes out, and this was kind of my notes pre-market, if the stock kind of washes out and goes red to green and starts taking out the previous channel, maybe we could go on a spike. And it did that. We'll go get to the pivots in a second. Uh, but all in all, uh, all in all, a pretty productive day. We talked about some names uh, on the weekend video that broke out. Micron, uh, Apple confirmed uh, the 50-day moving average had a really, really strong move. Arguably, uh, the strongest stocks are uh, not uh, not named uh, semiconductors. Uh, this did uh, very, very well. So overall, it was a very uh, productive day. Nothing earth shattering. Tesla gave us a nice move. Uh, Apple gave a move. Um, so it was a very uh, fine day, right? That's the best way of saying. 
tomorrow. Um, it looks like from the first close, kind of what I'm seeing here, it looks like some of the the big runners kind of need a little bit of rest, right? Uh, like I said, Meta tired, Microsoft tired, Amazon tired, uh, AMD may, may, might have one more day down. And now our job going into uh, tomorrow's session is kind of look for the other names, right? Look for the other names that potentially the money flow could go into uh, and that it doesn't necessarily need to translate into a high beta technology space. But again, sometimes like, for example, I could already see unless I get something really, you know, coming off the page tomorrow, I could see the beta names kind of from, for me personally, probably a res day. Uh, but there's some really good charts that are not beta related that you guys should probably keep an eye on. Let me give you guys a couple of names. Uh, Disney, right? Disney uh, broke out about this whole channel here. Guys, look how close Disney is uh, approaching its November highs. Disney looks like a good-looking chart. If it could start uh, reclaiming today's channel and start confirming November highs, maybe Disney wakes up. Again, money flow needs to go something. Again, if every uh, beta name rests, that's, again, it's, it's all speculation. We don't know if technology is going to rest tomorrow for the, for the most part. But if these stocks rest, you know, the money has to go somewhere. So Disney... A nice looking chart. Look at Sarepta, right? Look at Sarepta. Look at this gorgeous flag, right? Look at this flag. Got a big, big rally. And now it's just flagging here. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts taking out, uh, you know, the January highs, last week's highs. This thing could start a next leg up. This is a beautiful looking chart. Carvana, right? Huge short interest in this name. Uh, stock got stuffed right into daily supply. Watch this thing tomorrow. If it can start uh, reclaiming today's channels. Maybe this thing could wake up. Again, a huge, huge short interest uh, in this as well. Uh, Micron, watch for Micron. Again, broke out. We talked about on the weekend update. See if it could confirm uh, today's channel. Uh, look at this biotech here, EYPT. Not really, whoa, what happened here? Not really familiar with this name, but look at this tight formation, right? Look how tight this, this channel is. If it could start getting above uh, today's channel, maybe this thing could wake up. So sometimes, you know, like I am a mega cap, technology trader 99.99999% of the time. So if I get a 0.1%, it'll be something else. Um, for me, it looks like I might get a day of rest tomorrow just because, again, you're getting a little bit of, you know, a little bit of heaviness towards the end of the day. Meta, Microsoft, Google, they all have closed on red candles, which basically means uh, the close was lower than the open. Uh, and again, if they do need a res day, they deserve it. They really, really deserve it. And tomorrow... Unless we can find some really aggressive previous day's range to maybe take advantage of a day pull, I will probably look to be you know, trying to buy this, some of these names into rising daily support on any weakness uh, for a potential play. But other than that, a uh, very orderly market. Market continues to pay uh, the, the prepare trader. Uh, speculation money is obviously back. Look at this Trump stock, right? Look at this Trump stock, this DWAC, what is it? Truth, whatever, truthbehold.com. Look at, look at this move on this thing. This is an absolute monster move. So there's something there for everyone. Uh, names like PLTR, uh, getting some option flow today, rejected at the 50-day moving average. All it needs to do now is reclaim the 50-day to kind of wake back up. But the name I want to talk about right now is Tesla. So Tesla, you know, Tesla has earnings on Wednesday. Uh, today, and we'll get to the pivots, we'll start off with the pivots here. So today I put two pivots, one to the upside, 213.20, one to the downside, 207.50. Ironically today, both sides hit, right? Both sides of, of the channel hit, which is not a good thing if you're, if you're a, an investor ahead of earnings. Again, I don't know what's going to happen on earnings Wednesday. Uh, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of um, anticipation. There's not a lot of over excitement about this quarter maybe because of of the the of the uh price cuts on different models about recent statements uh by elon musk but there's not a lot of enthusiasm is it possible they blow away their quarter of course is it possible they tank on earnings of course and ironically today you had two uh two really pretty big bets on different parts of the market one guy came in today earlier this morning he came in with 1500 of the March 230 calls, 1.4 million, right? It's a pretty big move. And in the afternoon, another guy came in for 1.2 million of the February 197.50 puts. One of these guys are going to be right on Wednesday. We don't know. But 
Uh, this was definitely a good trade here at the open. Uh, 213.20 upside, 217.50 downside. I took the 213.20, actually entered on the second entry, 15 area. Nice run. I mean, nice run from that 213 level. Uh, it hit the 60 minute supply perfectly in the 218 level, and then it really, really sold off. Again, really, there's not a lot of not a lot of faith here going into the quarter. And ironically, it did take out the previous channel to the downside, gave you know another you know dollar fifty to the downside as well. But again, it's gonna be very, very interesting to see uh, what happens in the quarter. Uh, Amazon never confirmed. Uh, ADMA, nice little stock. Um, I, I gave you not know, again, not my thing, but for you guys who did take it. Uh, 510 needs to build on ADMA. And again, this is what we keep on talking about, guys. Uh, pivots are not just for Apple, Meta, Tesla, NVIDIA. They're for anything. It's, it's called a daily, you know, it's called daily technical analysis. And for all you guys who took uh, the 510 break, this thing closed at the highs of the day. It looks looks really, really good for continuation of tomorrow. Uh, Apple was definitely the big one today. Uh, 192 needs to build and confirm the pre-market highs of 192.77. Here was Apple. Right, so it took out the 92, took out the 92.77, the pre-market highs, and went all the way up to 95.33. Really, really big move on Apple. Congratulations for you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this, here is the play. You know, here is the play. Watch the 600 level. Um, I, you know, I didn't do it. I, I just didn't do this trade just because I just felt it was all over the place. Not really exactly how I wanted it to get to 600, so I left it alone. Uh, the point is, it did get rejected off the 600 level on the way back. Uh, it went down about nine points from the highs. And if you caught the trade, God bless. I just, you know, it just didn't get there the way um, I formulated the plan in my head. Uh, Docu never got to the 6477 level. So tomorrow, again, another another day in the trenches. Uh, again, you have Netflix uh, coming out with earnings uh, tomorrow. That's going to kick off uh, earnings season for uh, technology. Then Wednesday, we have Tesla, which obviously is going to be the big one. Las Vegas Sands, IBM, uh, Lamb Research. Lamb Research in the, um, uh, in the semiconductor space. And on Thursday, we have Intel, uh, Intel, Humana, uh, STM Micro. Nothing really crazy there. Friday, there's nothing. And next week starts, uh, next week starts the heavy earnings uh, starts the really, really heavy earnings with uh, all your crowd favorites, you know, all the crowd favorites, including, um, you know, Qualcomm and uh, Amazon and Apple and all that stuff as well. I think I could be wrong. I think <laughs> just by looking at it. But anyway, that's it, guys. Short and sweet. Uh, that's it. Short and sweet. If you are trading uh, again, every single day is not an opportunity. Every single day is an opportunity for the market to disconnect you from your capital if your specific process is not going to be fully highlighted. What I see based on early data for tomorrow's day, it looks like a lot of stocks got a little bit hot, a lot of bit, a little bit tired, a little bit ahead of themselves, and maybe they need one more day of rest. I will be pleasantly surprised if we got something aggressive tomorrow. But hey, like the great uh, Chris Berman of ESPN says, this is why we play the game. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. Hope everybody did well today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.